A groundbreaking exhibition on Aboriginal art has opened in the Australian capital, taking visitors on a trip through time along the famous Canning Stock route. The 1,800-kilometer stretch was first surveyed in 1906 by cattlemen looking for a path to move their livestock across the vast outback of Western Australia, a region which had been both a home and inspiration to Australia's Aboriginal people for tens of thousands of years. What seemed to those European surveyors and explorers as something rather desolate and empty um, is in fact a landscape with the most extraordinary richness of uh, stories, of significant places, of biography, of family connections. The aim of the exhibition is to show the richness of desert life. It tells the story of the Canning Stock Route's impact on Aboriginal people through the works of senior and emerging artists and the stories of Aboriginal elders. Artist Mervyn Street heard about the droving days from the old people he met along the route while working as a stockman. Yeah, I love drawing, drawing, and I love doing history. And not only all that doing history, but I'm always doing some work in school that gets out telling story. This collection of colourful and varied Aboriginal art shows that within the arid desert, a rich culture continues to thrive. It's a story of contact, conflict and survival, of exodus and return, seen through Aboriginal eyes and interpreted through their voices. Urara Kuju, the Canning Stock Route, is on at the National Museum of Australia in Canberra until the 26th of January 2011.